What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and as always, thank you for clicking on this video. Today we're going to talk about Bruised starring Halle Berry. Not only did she star in this movie, but it, she also directed it. It's her directorial debut. You know, I hate to say it, I'm not trying to be like anti-feminist or nothing, but I feel like this is going to be one of those movies where we're going to be like, yeah, sorry, but that previous film that involved a male lead actor did it better. And it's not to be anti feminist I'm just saying because this movie is biting off Rocky pretty much. This is Rocky instead of boxing is MMA, it's UFC. And that kind of sucks because it's her directorial debut and she chose to go the route of making a sports movie. And, and it's really challenging to do that because it's almost impossible to try to avoid all the cliches because it's just something that's almost natural with sports movies. You have your deadbeat previous famous athlete person who's trying to get back into the ring, or in this case, the octagon, but is struggling with either drug abuse, alcohol abuse, or family problems. And yeah, they decide to step back to get back in it. They struggle doing so. And in the end, you know, we're supposed to root for them and they're supposed to win. And usually at the end, we get a happy ending where they win, they overcame the impossible when it seemed like she wasn't able to do so. But it's, again, it's this that's not the ending in this case. It's very much like Rocky. But other than that, there are some subplots that are not exactly the same, but that do nothing for the movie. They do nothing for the hero. We're supposed to relate. We're supposed to root for this hero. And she has a son that is brought back by her mom. She didn't know that apparently he was alive and the kid's father is dead. So now she has to take care of him and he doesn't talk. This kid has the easiest role. I probably, one of the easiest role that I have probably ever seen. He has to say nothing at all. All he has to do is act sad. This dude, this little guy got the easiest paycheck in this movie. Boy, do I wish I was him. He has it easy. All he had to say is one line, and that one line was at the very last 10 seconds of the movie. Of course, we're gonna have some domestic issues at home, and you know a love interest story is gonna happen sometime along the way. But the movie tries to do what they try to do a little bit differently, is having being a girl as opposed to a guy for the love interest story. And it's really technically nothing different. They're just trying to crowbar the whole lesbian theme in there. And it's not, I'm not against that or anything. I'm just saying that whether it was a guy or a girl, it does nothing for the film. It does nothing to progress the story forward. Now there's a scene when they're promoting the fight and they're doing the weigh in and the stare down. And it looks like even themselves, they could not take themselves seriously. Cause it was like, they're ready to burst out laughing. And I know that it's a lot of the times it's for the show, it's for entertainment, but it, like, come on, you could do a lot better than that. It looks like they had no time to do reshoots and they just could not take it anymore. They was just laughing. And it almost looked like they were just ready to start making out instead of promoting the fight. And for me personally, it's been a while since I've seen Halle Berry in a film. And from what I remember, she's always had like these sex scenes in the films. And now that she's directing one, it's like she put herself in all these sex scenes, both with men and women. So it's like, you could tell she she pretty much, she kind of likes that already. I'm like, damn girl, chill out. There's also a lot of shaky camera movements. There's a lot of handheld movements that you could tell they were just doing the camera work by doing a lot of handheld movement. And not that it's a bad thing. Sometimes it is necessary to have it handheld, but there are some moments where could have put that thing on a tripod or have it roll out on wheels, maybe even use a gimbal or something just to give it a smooth effect. But there was a lot of times where you could tell it's just someone turning or going, getting on their knees. And as for the MMA, it's nothing too out of the ordinary. It's not something that's like over the top that'll have you at the edge of your seat or thinking that you're actually watching a real UFC fight. No, nothing. It's not like that at all. But in the end, I was a little disappointed because Halle Berry went this route where she chose her directory to be to be a sports movie. And the sports movies are one of the most cliche movies that could exist out there apart from horror movies. And she chose to go this route. And if it's like if she watched Rocky the night before and then she started filming and then she got her ideas from that. This movie could have been better if you take the sports theme out and just focus on the drama, just focus on the family drama, the whole drug theme, the whole poverty theme. I feel like that would have been a better movie without the sports theme. But in the end, I will say that Bruce it's gonna have to be a bootleg. I so bruised. If you've seen it or if you're gonna see it, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button, smash the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep watching this channel and keep watching movies.